Here are six things you might not have known you can do in Google Forms. The first one, it's fairly recent, you can now add images and videos to your form. So if you'd like to stick in a picture or stick in a YouTube video, it's fairly simple now. When you insert an, uh, a new question type, you can insert an image or a video. Very straightforward. Second thing is you can paste a list of items into a form question. Uh, insert a new multiple choice question and you can go and get a list. So for example, I go to this spreadsheet and just say copy those things there. When I go back over here, if I simply paste it into the first option, it will actually in um, uh, it'll put all those things in a different line from the original list. Easy as that. The third thing is you can validate what goes into a form field. So when you create a form, you can check whether it has a valid email address or a, a URL or a piece of text or a number. Uh, and just easy enough to do that. So here's an example. I'm validating this to make sure an email address goes into this field. Down here it says data validation. But I can check that the text is an email address. And I can even put in a custom message to tell people what I need from them. Here's another example. Here's a number validation. If I go in here you can see that this uh, field requires a number between the values of 1 and 10. And you've got all sorts of options in there as well. Uh, third example here, you can check that a certain phrase is contained. So in this case, the word demo slam has to be in this somewhere for it to be accepted. And finally, here's one here where we have a uh, checkbox question and we're making sure that um, in the data validation here, you have to select exactly two of these responses. One's not enough, three's too many. And again, you can, you can sort of have different options on that. The fourth thing you can do is produce a print-friendly version of your form. So forms are obviously meant to be filled out online, but if you go to File and Print, what it will do is it will generate a version of your form that's print-friendly. So where it used to be uh, radio boxes on the online version, there's little uh, bubbles you can colour in, there are lines uh, where you can write your answers, and so on. So all ready for print. The fifth thing is you can change the response destination of your form. So a form is automatically associated with a spreadsheet, or it used to be in the old one. Now, when you go to responses, you can change the response destination. So you can choose whether your answers go into a spreadsheet, whether they always go into a spreadsheet, whether they go into a new sheet. So you can effectively disconnect a form from a sheet and reconnect it with a different sheet, which gives you a whole lot more flexibility. And the final thing is you can get notified when your form is filled out. So if I look at a spreadsheet, for example, and I can go in here to the Tools menu and Notification Rules, and I can set up a whole bunch of rules in here to tell me when a change is made to this sheet. And if I'm only interested in whether a form is submitted, there's a checkbox here to tell me when a user submits a form. So there are six things that you might not have known about Google Forms.